<laughs> it's not that cold. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> it ain't no bit of spring, so I'm just going to say that. This week, we find an oasis in the outback. Katie gets pampered in the middle of nowhere, and we find a vehicle defying the Udna data odds. Paul puts the donkey boiler to the test. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Katie takes over the towing, and little Jasper treats us to carpool karaoke. We arrive into William Creek, plus two down, two to go. We pick up where we left you in the remote oasis of Coward Springs. Go. Kate just said that reminds her of Alfred Hitchcock film Birds. <laughs> At least they're roosting in the trees and not above our bed. I think the trick to the flies is just staying really low. Coward Springs, what do you think, Jasper? It's awesome. It's I awesome. Love it. You love it. Wow. I've done this really well. Yeah, they have. And I think the temperature's 27, 28 degrees. Yeah, it's a little chilly for me at first, but I mean, it's beautiful now that, that I'm in and the sun is shining and in winter it'd be fabulous. I think that even just the wood and, and the way it's so rustic and it, you've kind of got these trees that come over. It really has been done beautifully. I, I think the only real downside to this is that... There's not more of them. There's only one. <laughs> yes. That's right. And um, I don't know how many actual camp um, sites there are in this campground. There's but, plenty. Yeah. But the hot tip from us would be... Stay for two nights because what happens is you get that ebb and flow of people coming and going and then there's that window between the outgoing guests and the incoming mm. where you can come over like we have and be here by yourself. Yeah. Uh, which would really be the best way to experience this. Um, it'd be great to see this expand and have, you know, eight of them so that there was plenty for people in the high season, plenty of room for everyone without maybe feeling like you're getting to know your neighbours. But <laughs> maybe yes, like I think it says between them all. on the reviews, you know, prepare to get friendly with the campground neighbours. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, the water is kind of got this cloudy um, aspect to it and it does smell a little bit sulfury, but certainly not bad. And then the floor is some more of these wooden sleepers and then Mixed between that is sand, so it's kind of a sandy yeah, it's bottom. it's quite nice, actually, sandy bottom. As yeah. far as sandy bottoms go, it's quite nice. <laughs> it's only 1.3 metres deep, so it's quite safe, I think, for, mm. for families or if you've got younger ones, and as long as you're in here with them, I think you'd feel very comfortable in, in letting them float around. Oh, look at <laughs> there that. There you go, keep floating. <laughs> <laughs> now, they do have... Uh, a very well reviewed cafe on site mm. that literally everyone talks up because this is a date bar. Yes, amazing. And in the fridge up at the cafe, there are the most beautiful packets of fresh plum dates. There's date slices, there's chocolate oh, dates. Oh, back turtle. There's Ooh. date scones that you can order at the cafe. There's even ice cream. So we're going to go up after lunch. Uh, anyone eh? here like ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And they're open till about 12.30 and then there's a two-hour siesta for the owners. Yeah. 
and uh, obviously running their date farm there's there's a lot to do here there is a museum on site as well and there's also wetland walks so we'll check out both of those show you some of that but the sites are very large there's plenty of room mm. it's incredibly quiet uh, there is the largest flock of corellas we have Holy. ever ever seen but they're remarkably the corellas being very quiet so i don't know whether they've so far yeah <laughs> been able to train them or but uh, look it is all in all a really beautiful location there's a no drone policy so no droning directly over the campsite and certainly not over the spa so you can feel certain that you're not going to get spied on by overhead camera uh, however they've given me permission to put the drone up on the boundary of the property so that I can get a wider view and show you the lay of the land because it really is an oasis in the desert, oh, isn't it? Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. Those date palms really do make it look like an oasis, don't they? Yeah, yeah. love it. All right, we'll enjoy this until probably the next group of campers come in and then we'll check out the cafe and the museum. Woo! What's your name? I'm Rasmus. Rasmus, Paul. Yeah. Nice to meet you. And it's your partner? Yeah, that's Emily. Hey, Emily. Where are you guys from? Uh, from Denmark. Oh, wow. This yeah. is uh, a world away from Denmark, hey? The Udna Data. Yeah. Fantastic. And how's the camera going on the track? Better than expected, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and what about your tyre pressures? What are you running? Running 20 on the front and then 25 on the back. Yeah. And it's, and it's sweet? It's going good, yeah. Yeah, excellent. And what, what sort of so speed? Just 60 to 80. Okay, wow, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you're certainly setting the benchmark, mate. <laughs> We're all in our four-wheel drives thinking, oh, this is going to be a challenge, and then you show up in the Camry. We're impressed. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. How long are you going to be working at William Creek for? Till August. Oh, okay. We're back for, we stayed there five months last year. Oh, Just wow. came back two weeks ago, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Oh, we're headed to William Creek today. Yeah. Oh, excellent. All right. And do you work in the, is there a pub or what? What's... Yeah, there's a little hotel and then a campground. Yeah. Oh, sweet. All right. Oh, thank you. I'll buy you beer when we get there. <laughs> Good on you. Lovely to meet you. Rasmus. Rasmus, yeah. Yeah, interesting name. Cheers. See you guys. See you. Bye. Found the shower. This is called a donkey boiler. Okay, so you have to get your fire going about 20 to 30 minutes before you have the shower so that the water is nice and hot. So I'm gonna give this a crack. I think save some water in the van, come over. It's either gonna be a very quick 30 second shower or it might be a nice relaxing two to three minute one. <laughs> Here we go. All right, got the fire starters in. Got a bit of kindling. Ah, today. There you go. Now, this is my first time. Okay, so I'm doing something wrong here. Please leave a comment. Thank you for your encouragement. And uh, as they say, if I'm doing it wrong, YouTube will let me know. But this um, should be cranked within 10 minutes. And then after 20 minutes, you're meant to have some pretty good hot water. Thank God for fire lighters. Whoever invented those was a legend. Get Water in, fire going, tank heats up. When it's hot, you can twitch your hand there. Boom, you'll know that it's ready. Then water feeds out that pipe, over to the shower. Look out, how good is this? Oh yeah, that's hot. That's not so hot there, so it might need a little bit longer, but that's, that's definitely, that is hot. Pretty cool uh, towel racks. Oh, good stuff. There you go. Get that up there. And there she is. Put this down here. Like that. Mm. 
not hot yet. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's taking a while. <gasps> oh, Jesus! Not quite there. Oh, oh Lord. Ooh, might need a little bit longer. Here's a hot tip. It ain't hot. <laughs> Okay, look, all in all a great experience, but definitely need another 10 or 15 minutes to really make that warm enough or hot enough for you to enjoy. <laughs> Righto, let's check out what Katie's doing. Where is she? Now this is a first in all our travels, Christine. Hello there. Also known as the Beauty Wanderer. Now you're traveling around Oz with your family. Yes. What day are you up to? <laughs> we are day eight. Day eight. <laughs> and Katie is my first client, which is very exciting. I think it's more exciting for me, to be honest, because look at this, I'm getting pampered. I just said, who would have thought my first client would be on the Una Data track? <laughs> like, never would have thought. It's amazing. So glad we talked about it. Well, we're just so impressed when we meet people like yourself and, and your hubby Joss, and you've got two girls. Yep, two girls, six and one and a bit. And you've decided, right, eh? Let's do it. Let's actually jump in the deep end, take six months, but you can still take your work with you. And isn't that amazing? Absolutely. Kind of blends my passion for beauty and obviously travel. And I just thought, what a better way to meet other amazing women on the road. So here we are. Oh, you are amazing. And so are you, Katie, I've got to... <laughs> and she's going to look amazing soon. <laughs> yeah, I know. How good is this? And for all the mums out there on the road, like, just to have a minute out where they can connect up with Christine at a campground or literally on the side of a dirt track in the middle of nowhere and have a minute to themselves and get pampered, I mean, it's just such a winning combination. What a gift. And for the hubbies out there, if we just want this head massage that's going on, I mean, that, I'll sign up for that. I don't need any eyebrows done, I don't think. Oh, put it on the menu, for sure, yeah. for sure. And tell us exactly what you offer as your mobile yeah, beauty so treatments. Doing some brow styling, uh, lash tinting, as you can see Katie's having here, facial waxing as well. And seeing how it goes, I do specialise in skin, so I may offer a little um, express facial, do a little sheet mask, more scalp massage, hand and arm massage. We'll see how we go. But at the moment, yeah, more just brows and lashes. You can find me on Instagram, Christine underscore the beauty wanderer. That's probably the best way to find me. Or just pop by the van if you see my sign out. Love it. All right. I'll, I'll get out of your way so Katie, you can relax. She's sick of hearing my voice. Flying circus. Okay. Get out. All right. They're coming to take me away. Take me away. Now, we're saying goodbye to Coward Springs. Whoa, hang on a second. Look at those eyes. You like them? So where'd you end up getting done? Got my eyelashes tinted. How bloody awesome is that? I mean, that has to be one of the most unique things <laughs> that has ever happened in almost five years on the road. I love this country for that. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're willing to, you know, do whatever you can to make a little bit of extra coin on the road, obviously yeah. Christine is a qualified beauty therapist. She's got a salon in Swan Hill in Victoria. Wow. She's been doing this for like 18 years. And she's decided she's <laughs> going to do a little treatment or two she on the road. She doesn't look old enough to I be. I know, that's what I thought too. She must be good at facials. Yeah, but how awesome and how unique, and I loved it, at the back of their truck, and she's got yeah. everything she needed. A hubby, the kids, great family. It was so cool, Loretta great got story. her eyebrows waxed, oh, I got an eyelash tint. Awesome. And you you are gorgeous. Oh, thanks, yeah. honey. Even you know. more so now, thanks to Christine. Wendy night, parents delight. Righto, we are hitting the road, we're on our way to William Creek. Mm -hmm. We're going to go and say hello to my new friends in the Camry. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Emily and Rasmus. 
cool from name. Denmark. Yeah. What a story they've got. Yep. The people. All right, let's do it. It is well, ready to roll. It is nice and warm. We are running 23, 23 degrees, degrees outside and about really? 42 inside. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get that air on. Yes, and about 42,000 flies <laughs> as well. How are you, Jasper? Great. Mate, you're always great. Look 42, at you. 42,000 flies. 42,000 flies. We'll check our lights when we get out too. Just yes. always good yeah, to give straight. yourself a little a check a Watch yourself on the I'm not meant to go that way, but... I think we are, but it's probably easier for us to go this we'll way. We'll go this way and then duck down Udna Dada Lane. So good. So good. So good. I got a you. Bam, 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 bam. So the... Uh, hot. Hey, yeah, donkey boiler there. shower is hot now so <laughs> it's been heating for 24 hours <laughs> the 20 to 30 minute uh you know recommended timeline not quite correct i'd give it a good hour so you might have to grab some extra wood but they do provide the wood with a little sign that says please don't steal the wood this is for the donkey boiler yeah right and so where does the the terminology donkey boiler come from I have no idea. Okay. If you know, drop yeah, us a comment. Cool. Give us, us a little history lesson. We would love to hear. Interesting. All right, let's do it. So good. And then there's, look, there's Bye. Oh, cool. look, all the date palms. How cool is this? The Afghans, because it was in their culture to plant these date palms as they traveled across on their camels. And when they were in through here in 1888, when the railway siding was put in, they planted 50 of these date palms and the dates that we have are still from that same palm. Isn't that amazing? That is so cool. And Scott, who runs Coward Springs, the owner operator, is great knowledge base mm. on the history of, of the Afghans, the camels and the date farming and, and this whole area and they just love it, hence why they're the owners they, they purchased it and moved here yeah so good so i reckon they've got big visions too just watching him tinker away at some of the facilities and yep. things that they're putting in so yeah super cool a really unique little oasis in the desert all right we'll flick this camera around because it is picture perfect yeah. Australians, this the Oot and the Dada. Listen to Johnny Farnham. Take it away, Jasper Rooney. Okay, congratulations, Birdman. You've picked up our second copy of the Explorer's Way guidebook. Good for you. Love that handle. Okay, now this week, all you need to do to be in the draw, 
smash the like button and leave us a comment. Let us know what is the most unique experience, perhaps even random, that you've had traveling. Doesn't have to be just here in Australia, it can be anywhere overseas. Let us know in the comments and one of these babies could be yours. Good luck. Made it to William Creek. Where's Mum? That was an amazing trip that you just. Oh, thank you. Did Mum do good towing? Thank you. Well done. How good is that? The extra goes straight across the main road. <laughs> That's where the photo. Got to sign the roof. You're allowed to. Are you still allowed to sign the roof? Yeah, we just asked you to donate to the doctors. Love it. Sorry, man. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly magazine articles, and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family, and happy trails. this so good and I haven't heard the word mum in like more than a minute same what a dream oh my god maybe that's why I'm doing this so I can have some alone time yeah just as an excuse to <laughs> you <laughs> so got it yeah you go little man nice what do you think you love the temperature yeah yeah it's perfect for Jasper it's tropical, it's tropical. <laughs> <laughs>